The automotive industry is changing fast. New government rules concerning emissions and fuel economy are driving manufacturers to use new or existing technologies to improve fuel economy and improve engine performance. As a result of these regulations, the industry is seeing the increased use of turbochargers. Most people remember that turbochargers have been around for a while, and in the past, the technology was unreliable at best. Fast forward into the present day, manufacturers have learned how to cool them, and make them more reliable, and are using them more and more to meet these strict fuel and emission regulations. Turbo use has shot up from 5% of vehicles in 2010 to close to 50% in 2024, and that number is going to keep growing. A turbocharger makes an engine more powerful by using the exhaust gases to spin a turbine. This turbine powers a compressor that pushes more air into the engine, allowing it to burn more fuel and create more power. It's like giving the engine an extra boost without making it bigger. Let's talk oil lines. Every turbo's got two, an oil feed line that supplies oil to cool the turbo, and an oil drain line that takes the hot oil back to the engine. Turbo oil lines come in a couple of designs. Some are all metal, others are a mix of metal and hose. These lines get hot, sometimes up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and can fail, so there's a good chance they'll need to be replaced when the turbo fails, or if they become damaged or worn. Each style of hose is specific to each vehicle, so you have to make sure you get the right one. Modern turbos also have separate coolant lines that run coolant through the turbocharger to keep them cool after you shut off the engine. Even though the engine is off, changes in temperature cause coolant to naturally circulate through the turbocharger. This helps prevent the oil from coking due to high temperatures and ruining the turbo. Just like oil lines, coolant lines are specific to each vehicle. They're usually metal or a mix of metal and hose with fittings that make insulation easier. Turbo oil and coolant lines fail for various reasons. As mentioned before, these lines are subject to extreme temperatures that cause oil circulating through the turbo oil feed lines to coke. The coked oil builds up over time, restricting oil flow, which leads quickly to the failure of the turbocharger. These lines will deteriorate over time. The lines can become worn, corroded, or clogged, and that can lead to leaks. The rubber portions of the line can tear, also leading to a leak. Seals and gaskets deteriorate over time, resulting in a poor seal. Both conditions result in loss of oil and coolant. Not only does the loss of oil and coolant impact the turbo, but it can also impact the vehicle's cooling and engine oiling systems. These lines are subject to mechanical stress from the engine, turbo, road vibration, and thermal expansion and contraction. Mechanical stress can cause the materials to fatigue over time. Welds and brazing, for example, can crack or break as these parts age. When servicing turbochargers, turbocharger oil and coolant line kits provide all of the parts needed for a full system repair. These kits include all of the appropriate turbocharger oil and coolant lines, as well as the necessary hardware for installation. Because all parts in the turbocharger system wear together, it is important to replace all components at the same time. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.